Hey folks! Wow, that was loud. Sorry. Hey folks, we're back on the Cl the uh, Clinchfield subdivision. I'm being asked to wait for a train to pass. Where is he? Now oh, there he is. And uh, so we're gonna wait for this guy to go by. And we have to use our limited power to work our way up the mountain. Supposedly the B unit went bad and we're this is all set wrong. Great. So we're gonna have to go through all this. Cut in. Headlight bright. Generator field on. Engine run on. Number lights on. Class light we don't need. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna check the other engine just to make sure it's set right. Tell you what, these are longer freights, aren't they? Look at that. That was a pretty long freight going by. I don't trust the game. It's cut out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Move, move, move. We need to move. We've already gone from gold to bronze in a matter of seconds. Because we didn't move our train when we were supposed to. Alright, so we're clear. Let's proceed. Let's go ahead and get this train rolling. Soundtrack by Arthur Chapman. Series parallel. Boom. Alright. Freight. Bailing off the brakes. All right. Stop at Blue Diamond, six miles away. We're supposed to fill up the train with coal. Maybe our headlights are on, maybe they aren't. I've heard rumors that uh, <laughs> the headlights don't work so good on the trains, so we'll see. No, and it's not on. Is it on? Headlight bright on, okay. They said you need to like tap them until they work, and that's exactly what I did. Now, we don't want to get going too fast, but I also don't want to stall out. I'll change the camera up here so we can see a cool view of the train. That was not what I wanted to do. Sometimes these cameras are a little bit awkward. That should show us the other end. Nope. If I do that. No, there's the caboose. Well, that's pretty cool, too. But I thought we'd get, like, a... There we go. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. I will eventually add music to my videos, I promise. Rather than me mouthing the soundtrack, because I'm a goofball. Uh, but that just takes time, and right now, I don't got a lot. <coughs> What do you want, Gromit? You want to say hi? Say woof. <laughs> it's getting close to dinner time. You're going to have to wait a little while, doggy. I want to wait till the sun goes down. Oh, like any other train simulator. Oh, no, look. It actually kind of is lighting up the walls. Okay, cool. I hate it when it doesn't light up the walls. It's going to take a long time if we have to run six miles at 12 miles an hour. 
I'm hoping that pretty soon they're going to be a fast. Okay, a 25 mile an hour with a caution is coming up down the down the road a bit. So that's good. So I'm thinking, like, man, we're going to be. This is going to take all day. Oh, actually, we hit it already. What? Power up. Make sure the brakes are off. Yep. So this is nice because we get to see a little bit of the, this is called the Nora Spur, I guess. So we'll get to see some of the clinch field subdivision trackage. Oh, this is kind of notched then, huh? We got up to 50 miles per hour and just stopped. So maybe above 10 miles an hour, each notch is like a mile per hour. <laughs> Big smart aleck. <laughs> slowly creeping up. So I think this takes place in Virginia. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's Virginia. We have a yellow light, which means that up ahead somewhere we're going to have to either have a red light or it'll stay yellow. Two hundred yards to a twenty. Okay. Drop back down. A hundred yards to the twenty. Man, we're going to the twenty, and that's because of that split there. Oh, that was some weird tree drawing. Ah, last second drawing. I love it. <laughs> Sweet. Coming around the bend. Oh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm such a jerk. I just can't help myself. So are these the Blue Ridge Mountains then? Is that what that... That makes this... Gromit, what do you want? It's not time yet. Go away. Don't look at me like that. It. No, don't you start fussing. Good boy. He's a good dog. He's like, well, at least pet me. Uh oh. We're up over speed. I wonder if the brakes will work. Let's see. Instead, I just stopped the recording. That was stupid. I'm going to have to edit that. Dang it. Well, maybe there will be music in this after all. All right, let's. Uh, See what happens with the brakes. No, they're working. They're working. We'll release. That worked. Not very fast at it, but they worked. And now we're just dribbling off speed. I cannot believe I turned that off. Son of a biscuit. Well, we'll put some music in then. Maybe you guys will hear, actually, 
I have one uh, My Best Friend song that I wrote for. <laughs> a friend of mine has a show about cats called Kitten Crazy. And it's actually done really, really well on cable access because there's so many people out there that just love cats. And even get a little weird about the cats. Anyway, the people. <laughs> she asked me, she's like, Arthur, could you write me a theme song for the show? And I'm like, sure. So it's kind of a little rambling tune. So I'll pop it in here and there on this video. I got nothing with cats. I I don't dislike cats. I'm super allergic. Super, like, deadly allergic to cats. Like, if I'm in the room with a cat for more than ten minutes, my throat will literally close up and I'll choke to death. Nah, it's not that bad, but it's pretty close. It's bad. It's bad enough that I just don't do it. Bell off. Not bail off, bell off. Welcome all you suckers to Noraville. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm doing it again. <sighs> anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I have a lot of fun on here. I have collabs with my wife and my friend Mr. Micah and Kyle and others. Bin Pin. We do all kinds of games from Star Citizen to Truck Simulator to Euro Truck Simulator to Farm Sim to Flight Sim. I mean, I just do all the sim tours because I like them. It's my thing. Uh, mostly our channels. Far oh, SnowRunner. That's a big one. SnowRunner and, and Farm Sim are really what my channel is based on primarily American Truck Sim. I've tried to get Flight Sim up and running, but I just can't get the traction that I need. So I'm taking a break from it. I'll come back to it once things start slowing down. So for those of you that haven't been around the channel much, I did mention it in the last video. Uh, my mom passed away, sadly, in January. Uh, it was kind of a rough time. and I've had to spend the last three months uh, getting her house ready for sale because she was a hoarder. And we've had four... 20 yard dumpsters full of garbage come out of that house and there's still more but the vast majority of it is done with thankfully now um, so I am glad to be almost finished with this project and it means that pretty soon I'll be able to go back to doing a little bit more on YouTube though my wife and I are going to sell this house and buy another house so that's going to keep us busy <laughs> for the next like 10 months so really, honestly, I think I'll start streaming again in the fall when everything is kind of calmed down and we're back to what I would call normal uh, and I have a little bit extra time because the photography season will slow down by then and business won't be as busy. So I'll get back on and start streaming again and we'll do, you know, all these things. A lot of these simulators I try to do on, uh, like, um, on Twitch and then I post them because stuff like Train Sim this is I can do a couple videos where I talk to you about what's going on but there's a limit you know what I mean and so it's nice when you have this live because people talk to you and you can talk about stuff and uh, I like doing these these kind of games for streaming so we'll get back to that again but um, as of right now we're kind of on hold with that there are random coal cars scattered everywhere on this uh, on this this uh, Subdivision. I guess they had to put them somewhere, right? Should we pick these up and take them along with us and get more coal? <laughs> hey guys, would you like us to. No, those are portioned for something, I guess. 
And we got an almost 2% grade here. It's pretty steep. I noticed that we're bleeding off speed here. love that bass. I don't know if you guys have headphones on. There's a lot of bass on this engine. It's got that low uh, throb that you hear. We have, once again, I get trains that go through my backyard and that is pretty accurate how they sound. It does get some good sounds to it. Oh, I didn't see a sign for that. rush there on the horn. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Did anyone else see a whistle sign? Because I didn't. Maybe people just don't. There's not even a crossing gate, though. There's just uh, one of those X signs, like, don't, don't die here. Two point up now, so that's pretty cool. I'm this famous videographer from Mark One Productions. I've been waiting all day <laughs> to catch a glimpse of the rare Clinchfield F7 doing freight duty. They can't still be using these F7s. I, I'd be shocked if these were still in service. But maybe, who knows? Well, we're halfway there. And so, and this is one of the things I'm finding with this uh, layout's not the right word. DLC map location uh, route. The scenarios are about an hour to two hours or longer long. Um, I did the first, started the first scenario uh, where you shunt freight uh, with the SD40, and I took me two like two and a half hours later. I was still shunting freight. <laughs> it's like a pretty pretty hefty bill. Like, hey, move these cars here, move those cars here, couple those with these cars. Now move those cars here. I'm like, wow. Take it easy. But they didn't want to. They were rough with me. Okay, still climbing. 2.2% grade now. Honestly, though, we're not doing too bad. Powering our way up the mountain. The driver and the conductor are, are synchronized looking. Watch them. Look to the left. Look back to center. Now look to the right. Look back to center. <laughs> That's a little odd and creepy.
I don't see any more signals either, so maybe we're the only train on this. Stub. Let them know you care. Is that a whistle sign right there? What does that say? Nope. N44. I don't know what that means. Mile marker. Oh, Nora. 44 feet. 1.9 miles. I don't know. I'm not a railroad guy, really. I love trains. But I don't know the technicalities. And I know what's funny is sometimes I'll do these videos and we have engineers that come on and watch them and they're like, dude, you just killed everybody. <laughs> like, or you just derailed your train. I did? Yes. Level 10, TSW 10 operator unlocked. I don't know if you guys saw that. There was a steam notification that popped up. I am officially an operator. Okay, we're coming into the yard here. What's going on here? Still a mile and a half away, or a mile point one point eight miles, so almost two miles away. We'll just keep keep on keeping on. Bell on for safety when you're traveling through a yard. I made that up. You usually see train engines with their bells on though when they go through yards. So I think it's to keep workers from stepping out in front of the engines. Side of a mountain. leaving the yard, so we turn the bell off. Sweet. I love that sound. It sounds so good. There are people that complain about the sounds on this game, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I, it sounds pretty dang good. All right, we are 3.4 on the grade now, like serious grade action going on. I'm at full stop on the throttle. I should have sped up a little bit through the yard when I had my chance, but that's it. Now we're, this is it. Whatever we get up the hill is what we get. It's going to be a week before we get there. <laughs> Almost a blue diamond. What's on that marker? Nora 55. I don't know what they're measuring in feet. It can't be. Altitude? We were 44 feet, now we're at 55. <laughs> I mean, we are ascending. 
Ascend and maintain 2,500 feet. Contact Charleston departure on 124.6. Well, the good news is coming out of here, it's all downhill. I didn't know coal mines were up in the mountains, but I guess it makes sense. Like you have to go up a little bit to get to the, where they're mining. Makes it a little easier for the trains to get back down again, huh? Uh, we are done. Come on! Is that a pusher? Oh, please push us. Push us. That was pretty cool. He's not going to help us. We're on our own. Full tilt, man. Well, we're finally half a mile out. My goodness. I think we're going to call it a video once I get up to the top. And then we'll do the second half in another video because this is really long. And here's one of the reasons why I don't do a ton of train simulator videos because they're just, you know. Like I said, for streaming, probably a better, a better idea. But for this kind of stuff, it's, you know, it's a pretty long, long trip. Well, this is looking more and more like it. I thought they wanted us to get coal, though, but I guess not from here. Seven hundred yards. We're coming up on our destination. Ding dong. Aha. It's the shoots. They're probably going to have us pull past. I think I hope I'm on the right track. Yeah, I am. Okay. Yep. And then, yeah. All right. So they're going to have us go past, I bet. And then they'll reverse us and have us go back real slow. And maybe I'll do this all in one episode, because I don't know how much we have to do after we're done. Like, are we bringing it back down the mountain when we come? Or are we just delivering to the yard when we come? I, I don't know. I just know Gromit's looking at me like, Dad, I'm hungry, and I need to go for walkies. So we'll probably take a pause here. I'm just going to pause the video and pause the game and take Gromit to, for his little happy talk. What's up? You tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Yeah, you tell them. Wolf. Come on, Chewbacca. Wolf. All right, that's enough. He's uh, trained to bark. <laughs> but he does the Chewbacca bark. He's like... All right, I'll take you in a minute, okay? Let me park the train and we'll go do it. We'll go take you for a walk and feed you food. Are you hungry? Yeah. He's licking his chops. Poor Guami. <coughs> All right. That's enough. No barking. 
That's enough. Let me park the train, and then I'll go feed you, okay? Yeah, I need to take care of this puppy. I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee, and we'll come back and continue our journey up the mountain, down the mountain, or wherever the mountain is going. So we'll figure that out once I come back. Will the brake hold its service? That's what I'm curious to find out. If I put it in neutral, is it holding? You must split your contest and content, consist. Okay. Why do they want us to split the consist? Okay, well, we'll do that in a minute. So I'm going to pause the game and take Gromit for a walkie. I'll be right back. I'm back after a long, 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 long break. Uh took dog for a walk wife woke up in the middle of the night over there and she i talked to her for quite some time today she went to the uh um consulate uh the uh american embassy and had her interview it's all set and now she is cleared to come over to america she's gonna finally be here after all this time in like two weeks <laughs> two to three weeks she'll be here so we're done finally uh, she has to go to London for her medical tomorrow, but she'll pass that. So, someone's backing up somewhere. Hey, it's N66. Wait a minute. Uncouple vehicles. Hopper. Oh, this is all our train. Look at this. Okay, I didn't realize we had that many. Wow, we really had a lot of cars on the back. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay, well... Yeah, I love the sounds. Okay, so once again, I live on the Wheeling and Lake Erie, and the train goes through my backyard, for those of you who don't know what it is. The Wheeling Lake Erie is a short line that runs between Sandusky, Ohio, and I think it goes down to Wheeling, West Virginia, but it might even go further, if I remember right. The, the network actually goes further. Son of a... Hold on. Ta-da! Now, I got some bad news. We probably won't do this whole thing on this video because I, I looked at the board. In fact, I'll show you this. Okay, so we are, we've gotten this far down the list, right? These are all the things that we've done, right? This is what we still have left to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, and this is one of the things that I was saying about this new DLC that's different than the other DLCs that I've played before. Um, we've got um, a lot of long missions. They are very long compared to what the other ones that I've played are. Now, that said, I, ha I don't play train. I've got too many games to play, and so I play Train Sim World when I'm in the mood. Now, here's one of these issues that we're talking about. These junction boxes need to be further out. Um... So we need to go slower than three miles an hour. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But you can see here that these switches are the, the lights need to go further out because they're hitting the cars as they come around the corner. That's bad. That's bad. Um, but anyway, the point is that these missions are really, really long, like upwards of two hours. It's probably going to take us to finish what we're doing here. Um, but I think that gives you an idea of what is going on with this. We'll go ahead and fill up these cars that we've got now. And then uh, I'll probably do all the switching stuff off camera. And then maybe for the next episode, we'll pick up and take the train back. I don't know. Or we'll just go, because I also want you guys to see the other engines that came with this DLC. And that is the uh, GP40, which is, I love it. I love, I love black train locomotives. I don't know why. But there's something about like the Norfolk and Southern, Norfolk and Western. Uh, obviously, we got the you know, the Clinchfield, and then you've got like um, like <coughs> Denver and Rio Grande. They just they're beautiful looking. Like they just have this like cool. I don't know. I just love the way they look. So the you know the the, the GP40 and this is really cool looking, 
or SD40. I can't remember if it's a GP or an SD. I think it's an SD40, but we'll see in another episode. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go to the Blue Diamond South siding. So we'll play for a couple more minutes, but then I am going to uh, call this an episode. That was dumb. Okay, turn that off. Turn that back on. Pull ahead. Now this will be interesting pulling through the coaling. Put some sand down, see if we can't get some traction. We're not slipping. Okay, we are slipping there. Got to watch those amps. We're still in the green now, but there we go. Should be enough sand. Uh, wheel slip is part of Train Sim World 2 now. Train Sim World 1 did not have wheel slip. Or 2020 or whatever the frick they called it. They're just going to have us go up to the end of this and then reverse down through the coal chutes, which sucks. I'm hoping we can pull forward through the coal chutes. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we'll do one fill up, and then I will go ahead and complete the mission off camera. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it. And, uh, this is just a great DLC, and this is what I've been looking for. Once again, Sandpatch has this too. There's coaling operations and stuff in Sandpatch. Uh, and also, there's good freight action on the Oakville subdivision. So, uh, I hope they keep going with this and giving us some cool railroads, like, especially like the vintage stuff. Like, it's really cool. Like, I'd love to see some GP9s, you know, maybe something like something weird like a GP30. You know, like those those classic like 50s and 60s engines, uh, and maybe hopefully eventually steam. I know they said that one of the reasons why they went they left the Transom World engine and came to Transom World Two was, quote unquote, they're going to introduce steam into Transom World. So, but they needed to change the engine to do that. So supposedly this engine can handle steam. We'll see. in here. Uh-oh. Stop the presses. It's not stopping. That's full break right there. Yeah. So you got to use, from what I'm feeling with this, you got to use the independent brake with the main brake. Um, Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. Uh, the coal chutes are there. I think, yeah, I think what they're going to have us do is go down on the other side of the plant and then slowly advance through. So let's take a look at the map here and see where they're routing us. We're going back the way we came, and they want us on the blue track. We're going to back down to here. Okay, yep, that's exactly what they're doing. So we're going to back down, and then we'll come back through the tipple. <laughs> I love saying that. Sorry. It's still... Sorry. It doesn't get old for me. Uh, how old are you? All right, so anyway. I am sort of mature, but not really. Big kid. Okay, let's go ahead and roll down onto the tipple track. <laughs> I don't think they call it tipple track here. I don't know what the difference is, but for some reason this one's not. Okay, we're in reverse. The brakes are released. I'm surprised that we're not rolling backwards. We should right now be flying down the hill. Okay, brakes are off. There we go. I'm just going to let it roll. And we will use the first service brake to keep the train under control. And we're just going to watch our speed here as we, wow, really pick up speed fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. First service, lap, nope. I do see why people were complaining about the brakes on this engine. Maybe that's just how... Okay, service. There we go, put it back at the lap. Okay, so service will slowly pump the brakes up, I think. And now we're slowing down, so we go back to first service. 
And now we're going to running. And it's still, okay, it's starting to let go. There, oh, no, no, okay, no, no. Oh, God, stop. Okay. Right there, running for service. But it's like a church. When do we go to the second service? <laughs> what time do we have to be there for the first service? <laughs> when you're a guitarist in the worship band. <laughs> oh, man, we are going way too fast. No, not emergency. Shoes and socks. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. <sighs> Train needs resetting. Frig. Frigtastic. I'm not sure which one actually resets it. If we go this. Okay. We probably should have been in parallel shunt anyway. Service. Stop there. Lap. Tell you what, this is kind of hair-raising to go through this. Uh, the train picks up speed real fast when you're rolling down a 3% grade. Ah, eh, 2.5. Nope, okay, now what? Okay, release. All of a sudden it was breaking. I think we've stopped enough. Service. Let's see if the service will actually bring the train to a stop. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's working. I mean, that's realistic right there. That's a pretty good stop, too, actually. Uncouple vehicles. What? Uh, if you say so. Uh, don't want to put the... I'm actually going to put this... Uh, Full application on the engines too, so they don't. They, you know, just in case. No, I don't want. No runaways. Now, I I haven't seen yet a B unit. They talked about a B unit at the beginning of this, but I don't know if that's in this DLC. I haven't seen any pictures of B units. I don't know. It, I hope there are B units in here, but if not, I hope they add them because the B units are pretty cool. I don't, but like I said, I haven't seen any trains with them or anything, so I'm thinking maybe not. Okay, why did we do that? Hmm, I'm, we're going to keep going for a little bit, because I'm kind of curious to see what what dreams may come. What are, what are they having us do here? They wanted us to just... Okay. Oh, it is the blue tipple. Blue diamond tipple. That sounds painful. Nope. Idle. Forward. Let's roll them forward. Nope. <laughs> forward. Do what you're told. Dang it. Gosh darn it. You dang engine. I'll show you a blue tipple or two. <laughs> what a gorgeous... I mean, is there anything cooler? This is so cool. I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think this engine looks amazing. I really like this model. And I, once again, I love the fact that it's all beat down. It is not a new looking engine. It's got some serious wear and tear going on, and I love that. 
Please be on the right track. Please be on the right track. No. Oh. Shoes and socks. You dork. Always check the track when you reverse directions. Lesson. My name's Arfur, and I'm a dork. All right, let's go ahead. I am a dork. I am actually certified full-on nerd. I like trains. I like planes. I like cars. I like buses. Uh, used to get picked on in school because I read Model Railroader magazine, and all the girls would be like, oh, Model Railroader, that's stupid. You're, I can't say what they said because nowadays it's offensive, but they used to call me, anyway, and all kinds of names. They were stupid monkeys. Anyway, uh, yeah, I am a nerd. So what? I'm almost 50 years old, and here I am playing a train simulator in front of people and loving it. Every minute of it. Sand. You're supposed to bail off. I, I, I'm not giving it enough power. I... You know, it's like you'd think that notch two would be enough, but it's not. So what is their goal here? Huh. And I think we're supposed to stop here, right? Oop, wrong button. Yeah, stop at location, blue diamond tipple. Four yards out. Couple to hoppers, 177 yards away. Okay, so let's look at the map. This time, let's be smarter than the train. Okay, we're going to back down there. This is all looking good. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, so we're all set. And we need a couple. This is going to be a little scary. I hate backing onto cars. Okay, and we're not going to be able to see them either because... Because... All right, put the train in reverse. Brakes off. Bonk. I forgot the other two beeps. It's, it's three when you're reversing. <sighs> I think. Um, are my cars rolling away? Oh, look! Wait a minute. That engine hooked up to them and took them. But I wasn't done. <laughs> okay, well, that was pretty cool. The engine actually, the other engine actually took them down the hill. Why did we bother bringing them up here if he was just going to take them back down? <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to, pay attention, Arthur. <laughs> Focus. Jeepers criminy. They took my cars. Okay, well, good enough. I guess we don't have to deal with them, right? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Find a happy medium. Happy place. Okay, good. Right there. Two miles an hour, I'm happy. Creep down here. Yes, I'm a creep. I'm a loser. What the heck am I doing here? And service. There we go. All right. So we're going to put the train into service mode. Get those brakes pumping. I don't want to roll. Have anything rolling away on me? If I look at the map, I just got to double check this, right? Okay, so we saw there was a train leaving. 
Yep, yep. No, nope, it's got an engine on it. Oh, wait, it went back to me. Uh, if you look here, yeah, there's an engine there. Stop it! Some, I, I keep... He's gonna... He's doing something different there. He's. I don't know what he's doing. He's coming back. Is he? He just stopped. I... I'm... Oh, I'm confused, but okay. <laughs> Let's let the scenario play out the way it's supposed to. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to de decouple these cars. We're going to end this episode, but then we'll continue the episode uh, in the next episode. Because we've done a lot of stuff. We're at about probably about an hour here, and I don't want to make the video too, too long. Um, but we'll decouple these cars, and we'll call it an end to this part. Because I'm interested to see what happens here. So, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that you have not been waiting for, the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, I'm really loving this new Clinchfield DLC. Once again, great stuff. I wish they would do this more often. I really do. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, boys up. And we'll see you next time on Train Sim World 2. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a couple more videos on the Clinchfield. And we will start these up again soon. I promise. Like, we'll be doing more truck sim more train sim more flight sim but i gotta wait because right now i gotta get my mom's house sold i gotta get my house packed up and we're gonna move to a new house so my wife is coming this is just a ton of stuff happening in my life right now so we're gonna get through all that stuff hopefully by the end of summer everything will have calmed down and we'll be back to our normal video schedule but uh, i just thank you guys once again for being so patient with me as we go through all this stuff and, and uh anyway we'll see you next time have a great night bye